guys and welcome back or welcome to my channel to a brand new video and today's video is going to be I only eat my childhood favorites for 24 hours so I'm so excited to do this challenge I'm also extremely nervous because obviously when you're a child you're carefree you don't care what you eat you literally just eat whatever is like there to be honest and obviously these are all pre-ed favorites that some of which I haven't allowed myself to have in years so I'm really nervous to do this challenge but I'm also really excited because I'm able to have my pre-ed favorites so I hope you enjoy this video and goodbye so for breakfast this morning I had a childhood favorite and a pre-ed favorite and that is honey hoops so this was like one of my favorite cereals ever as a child I would always eat cereal for breakfast I don't think I eat anything other than cereal for breakfast but I absolutely love the cereal and it was my free ed favorite cereal but I haven't allowed myself to have it the last time I had it was actually on my first ever like last year or something when I did my first ever indulgence day kind of in a way and I really loved it but then ever since I didn't allow myself to have it because it's really scary for me because of the the sh like the sugar content and all that crap but um yeah it was really scary for me but I'm really glad that I challenged it and yeah enjoy the video So for lunch today, I'm going to be having waffles and beans. Like honestly, you don't understand my level of excitement because I haven't had this in absolute ages. And waffles and beans was just one of them meals that I just really love. And like, it was just a really big childhood favorite. And another thing that I just want to mention, so I'm going to have mini potato waffles with beans. But I just want to mention a little ED thing that when, because sometimes my eating disorder tries to convince me that I prefer other foods over like a certain food because of the calories or whatever like that, like another alternative option kind of in a way. So I personally, I prefer Branston beans over Heinz beans, but my ED convinced me for a really long time that I actually prefer Heinz beans over Branston beans because Heinz beans have less calories in than Branston beans and Branston have more sugar in them. And basically my ED tried to convince me that I prefer Heinz so I'd always go for like the stupid Heinz and no added sugar which are absolutely rank may I mention and I actually prefer Branston so I'm going to be having Branston beans with mini potato waffles <laughs> attempted to do a one obviously for 1000 subscribers but unfortunately I just failed absolutely miserably and just had to like scatter the buttons wherever but it was like making my OCD go insane because they weren't like perfect <laughs> So for dinner tonight, I am having chicken tikka and white rice. So chicken tikka is obviously a fear food for me. And white rice, it, it's like, it's so weird because when I was at my lowest, 
white rice became a safe food well when I was losing weight actually white rice became a safe food and like I grasped onto it and I had it every single night for about like two months or something I'm not even kidding every single night my parents tried to stop me and I didn't want them to so I just completely like shut them out basically but I literally had white rice I basically said to them a really awful thing I said that it's either this or I have nothing and as awful as that sounds, you know, I didn't care about what people thought and all I wanted was this food and then when I started having it, when I started to actually have actual food and started to actually eat different kind of things and spread out my diet, um, you know, it just became a fear and I don't know if it's the fact that it was like a safe food back then that it kind of scares me that I'll grasp onto it again or if it's because there's a lot of like stuff in the media about you know white rice being bad for you I don't know if it's that uh, but like it's just it's something really weird that although it was such a safe food back then that now it's such a fear food and white rice was such a childhood favorite I'm not even kidding like you know how you can get them like and pack it to white rice like I'd literally eat all of that in one go like my mom would put half on but then I'd be like can I have some more <laughs> so like yes I'm really excited to have this